Tyree Kill has a podcast, if you haven't heard. Episode one dropped a couple of weeks ago. It Needed to Be Said is the name of the podcast. Well, episode two, which was about half the length of episode one, consisted almost exclusively, if not entirely exclusively, of reaction to the reaction to episode one. Now, look, I really don't think it's sustainable if each episode is going to consist of reaction to the reaction to the prior episode. And there was no new ground plowed in episode two. I mean, at one point, Tyreek talked about the differences between his relationship with John Dorsey, who was the GM of the team when he was drafted, and Brett Veach, who was the GM when he was traded. But that's not going to make any big waves. The, the biggest stir was caused by Tyreek Hill saying he got death threats via social media. And I love it, he said. See, he wants to have the reaction. That's why, that's why they do it. That's why we do it from time to time. Look, we try to be very organic and authentic and not try to contrive anything. But when we have a real opinion or real information that we know is going to cause a stir, this is ultimately a business. You want people to pay attention to the things you say. That's why you're here. You got to distinguish yourself from all the other voices out there so people will devote some of their time and attention to what you're saying. And you have to accept the fact that sometimes you may say things that people will react to in a way that you don't like. And when that happens, you just have to deal with it. And if you're going to go on a podcast, the first episode of a brand new podcast, and say something as outlandish as Tua Tonga Vailoa throws the football more accurately than Patrick Mahomes, already one of the all-time greats at the quarterback position, you're going to have a reaction. And you'll want the reaction but you also want to reserve the right to complain about the reaction. And that's what happened in episode two of it needed to be said. And I wrote about this yesterday. And this is one of the things that I'm willing to say on this platform and take whatever reaction may come from it. Co-host Julius Collins knows exactly how to press the buttons on Tyree Kill to get him to say things that will cause a stir. And then it's like, whoa, 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 we're, we're not taking any shots here. The shot's already been taken by the time they try to put the toothpaste back in the tube. It's just kind of comical because for those of us who create content and understand how it works, you see it and you know. Number one, this isn't sustainable. And number two, I really don't think it's in the best interest of Tyreek Hill. He's trying to build a, a new image and reputation. He's with a new team and all he's managing to do, frankly. And and, and I'm not being a hater. I'm not saying shut up and play when I express my opinion. What he's doing is he's putting more pressure on the Dolphins to get him the football as often as he wants it, or otherwise they're going to have a problem because we now know the Chiefs had a problem, even though Tyreek Hill didn't do anything about it publicly. If he gets three catches in a game at any point in 2022, we now know to ask, reporters covering the team know to ask, you okay, Tyreek? You, you, you happy with your your output today you think they should be using you more we, we now know that he's flagged it as an issue he's put more pressure onto a tongue of iloa to throw the football more accurately than patrick mahomes does and there's more pressure on mike mcdaniel the coach of the team to design the plays to showcase tyree kill so that's my opinion and i'm entitled to express it and i'm not being a hater and i'm not saying shut up and play look i like it i like content i like to have things in late june to react to and talk about. But I really do believe, and this is my opinion, that it's not in Tyree Kill's interest to continue this podcast if it's just going to be saying something outlandish one episode and then the next episode complaining about the way people reacted to what you said the last episode when you know damn well how they're going to react. It's not a good idea. Although, as the owner and operator of a media outlet that covers the NFL... I appreciate it, and I hope it continues. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.